Welcome back, it's nice to see you again. In this episode, we're gonna show you how to get this two-tone color effect that Peter McKinnon uses all the time in his videos. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, please let me know in the comments below what effects, titles, transitions you'd like to see me recreate from your favorite YouTubers, TV shows, or movies. Also, I always include free plugins in every one of my videos. In this video, we're not using any plugins, so I'm going to add a little extra something, and that is a plugin that does this dot grid pattern that we see being used in the MKBHD videos and the Peter McKinnon videos. So go ahead and grab that down below. Now with that out of the way, let's jump into this. Here's my timeline that we'll be working out of today. I've got this freeze frame of a Peter McKinnon video that we're going to be colorizing. Luckily for us, all of the effects here today can be done completely in Final Cut Pro. No plugins needed, no Apple Motion needed. All right, so we're gonna click on our clip and then we're gonna come over here and we're going to go to color. The effect we're looking for is called colorize. Just drag that onto our clip and you can see what it does. It changes the blacks and the whites to a different color. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to remap our blacks to this hex value. Now this is a color that I've just been playing with and I think it's pretty close to what Peter uses in his videos. It's sort of this purpley blue. And then we're gonna remap our whites to a hex value that again, I think is pretty close to what he's using in his videos. And it's sort of this purpley red. Now it's close, but what you need to do is crank up the intensity to really get that look. And you can see that's actually pretty close to what he does in his videos. Now, the one problem that we have is that there's not very much contrast. And so your first thought might be, let's come up here and let's just throw on a color correction. And you can see if you do that, it actually changes the colors. We're not getting that nice purpley blue or red anymore. And that's because the effects in Final Cut Pro are processed from top to bottom in order. So we just need to grab our color board and drag it above the color eyes. And now we can tweak the contrast. We can uh, bring those shadows down, those highlights up and we keep those purples and those reds in place. All right, and that's it to get this effect. If you'd like to see how Peter McKinnon does more of his editing and his effects, please like and subscribe so that you don't miss the next video. I've got over an hour's worth of videos coming down the line, all focused on how Peter McKinnon builds up his intros and he does wipes and transitions and colors. If there's another YouTuber you'd like to see me break down, please leave it in the comments below. And as always, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.